Hi guys, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my January 2019 TBR. Say it with me everybody because we forgot to do it in December. Yay, it's TBR time! <laughs> I actually had one of you guys point out to me that I forgot to do it and I realized later that I did. Um, I think I did it at the tail end of my December video. So yeah, so anyway, I made sure to get it in for January so we did not forget this time. So anyway, um, I have my TBR list here on my tablet I'm going to be telling you guys about. I was so excited. I'm actually filming this on Friday night. Uh, so the Friday prior to Christmas. You guys are not going to see this, of course, until after Christmas. Um, so uh, I think the Thursday after on the 28th or so 27th this is going to go up. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but last night on Thursday night, the... Um, uh, Romance Readers Reading Group on Goodreads put up the uh, January challenge and I said to my husband, well, I guess I'm not getting in bed anytime early tonight. <laughs> and I literally sat here until like 1130 last night putting my list together because that's like the start. And I don't cons like, I don't like putting my TBR list together until I get, I know it sounds weird. I like to do it all at once. Um, and then I didn't get, because I was exhausted, I got about halfway through everything that I was doing and I'm like, I gotta get to bed. So this morning when I got up, I finished it off. And yeah, I'm super excited, but there's still two books on this list that have not been picked yet because they are gonna come from here. So I will talk about that in a little bit. Now, if you watched my video last Friday, the one that I, um, that I talked about um, all my challenges, my personal challenges that I'm doing this year, that's all gonna be reflected in this TBR and I will explain them as I get to them very briefly in case you didn't see those videos. So as you guys know, um, if you've been watching me for a while, my TBRs are very structured. I base them all off challenges I'm doing and things like that. I really enjoy having a very structured TBR. Um, I've had people like mention to me in comments and stuff like that, oh, I don't know if I could do that and each to their own. This is why I love watching booktube and I love seeing how other readers do things and how they pick things. Because all, I think because all my books like most of what I read, 98% of what I read is digital, either audiobook or ebook. I can't stand in front of a bookcase and like think, hmm, what book do I feel like reading next? I mean, I could flip through my Kindle, but I have stuff on Amazon. Like I have books on my Kindle. I have books on the Harlequin website, like book, I think book shout is the new form that they're using for their ebooks. I have books on Audible. I have books that I could pull from my library. You know what I mean? Like there's so many different places that I can't just stand in front of a bookcase and pick stuff. So that's part of the reason that I do this. And yeah, so anyway, without any further ado, I will have 25 books here to talk about. So let's jump in and get started. So to begin with, as usual, is the Romance Readers, Romance Readers Reading Group um, or Reading Challenge on Goodreads. And I will leave a link to this in the description box below if you're new and you're, you're interested in joining. So every month they put out a challenge and you pick... Um, they give you 10 different prompts and you pick books to go with those prompts. So let's jump in and get started. Um, I'm sure I already said that. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's been a long day. Um, like I said, I'm filming this on Friday and I just finished work for the next five days. So I'm a little happy. Um, <laughs> so category number one, J is for January. Read a book that starts with the letter J or a book whose author's first or last name starts with the letter J. And I'll be reading Simply Irresistible by Jill Shalvis. I'll be listening to this on audio. It is the first book in the Lucky Harbor series. And it's going to be narrated uh, by Celeste Kalua, I believe is how you say her name. Um, I'm not going to get into too much about what all these books are about. Um, but I will. I haven't been doing it. And I do apologize, guys. I will make sure to leave a list of the books that I mentioned in the description box below. So you can check them out for yourself in case you forget a title or something like that. Um, so the second category. The new thing this year. Last year they did... Olympian gods and goddesses this year they're doing birds of the month so for the month of January the bird is going to be owl and it says owls live in the within the darkness which includes magic mystery and ancient knowledge related to the night uh, to the night is the moon which owls are also connected to it becomes a symbol of the feminine and fertility with the moon cycles of renewal even uh, the mythology relates to the owl uh, relates owl to this wisdom and feminine fem Femininity? I'm sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. Read a book that has mystery or magic in it, or read a book with a dark cover or has a moon on the cover, or read a book <clears throat> with pregnancy in the story, or a book with the letters O, W, and L in the title. So, I love owls, by the way, guys. Um, if you couldn't tell, I have a couple owls that actually hang on my Christmas tree. So, I'll be reading Fade to Black by Heather Graham. Um, there is some magic 
um, you know, mystery and magic in this book. It is book number 24 in the Crew of Hunters series. I will be listening to it on audio, and it's going to be narrated, of course, by Luke Daniels. Very excited to get to that one. I haven't read a Crew of Hunters novel in a little while, so I'm really excited about it. Uh, category number three, the featured author. They do a featured author every month. And this month's featured author is Jody Thomas, which is very exciting. It says, read a book written by Jody Thomas or any author with her first or last name. They also give you some other prompts, which I didn't write down here because I'm not doing those. Um, like, you know, she's from Texas, so read a book set in Texas or something like that. Um, but I'm going to be reading Lone Heart Pass, of course, by Jody Thomas. Um, book number three in the Ransom Canyon series. This will be narrated on audio by Julia Gibson. Very excited about this one. That's a gorgeous cover. Category number four is January the 8th is Bubble Bath Day. It says, today is a fun day to relax and enjoy the warm and soothing pleasures of a bubble bath. Uh, read a book that you would choose to sit back and relax with, or a book with something round on the cover, or a book with an, uh, I cannot say this word, uh, alliteration, a book with an, uh, an, a book with an alliteration, is, is that how you'd say it? in the title. Um, so I'm actually picking a book that uh, I would choose to sit back and relax with. And that is Chasing Perfect by Susan Mallory, another one on audio. Um, this is book number one in the Fool's Gold series. This will be a reread for me. I read this book years ago. And again, if you watched my video last Friday, um, this is one of the series that I plan on working my way through the first 11 books this year for my Stacking the Series Challenge. Um, narrated on audio by Tanya or Tanya Ebby. Very excited about that one. Category number five, excuse me, January 14th, dress up your pet day. <laughs> I don't think the cats are going to go for that. Um, great news. You don't have to wait until Halloween to dress up your pet. National dress up your pet day gives you the, uh, gives you the opportunity to, you guessed it, dress up your pet. Um, one, read a book with an animal on the cover or in the book. Or uh, the second prompt could be uh, read a book with an article of clothing on the cover. So I'm actually going to be reading A Temporary Courtship by Jenna Mandel. If you see the cover, there are two dogs on that cover, so it fits, obviously. This I'll be reading on ebook, and it is book number three in the Maple Springs series, so this one should be really cute. I'm, I'm excited to finish off this series. This is the last one. Um, category number six, January the 20th is National Butter Crunch Day. Uh, Butter Crunch lovers, today is your day. It's National Butter Crunch Day. Today you can enjoy Butter Crunch ice cream, candy, or anything Butter Crunch. Uh, read a book that contains double letters in the title, for example, like the word princess has two S's in it, or read a book uh, that you think is sweet. And I'll be reading Lassoed by Fortune uh, by, Marie, by Marie Farinella. Uh, this one I will also be reading on ebook. Um, Lassoed has two S's in the, in the uh, word. And this is book number three in the Fortunes of Texas, Welcome to Horseback Hollow series. So this is another series. You'll notice there are a lot of books in here that I am using for my Stacking the Series Challenge. Um, uh, category number seven, January 25th is Opposite Day. Opposite Day was mentioned in the book Alice in Wonderland, the day many originate for the, from the storybook written in the 1800s. Read a book that is the opposite of what you would normally pick up. For example, if you tend to read shorter books, read a longer book. If you tend to read contemporaries, read a historical. Um, or read a book that has an opposites attract plot or read a book that is considered to be a classic. So um, she, the person who, because um, it's somebody different every month who puts the challenge together, the person who did it this month actually gave us some, um, some suggestions and, and lay, left links to some lists on Listopia for some of these different categories. And one of them was for this, for books that have the opposite attract relationship. And I clicked on one of them and scrolled through. And the first book that I came to that I actually had labeled as want to read. So, of course, one of my other challenges this year is to read through or not read through because I won't. There's over 2000 books on that list. But to, you know, kind of focus on my want to read list on Goodreads. And this is the first one that came up. So it is Wicked Intentions by Elizabeth Hoyt. I'll be listening to this one on audio. It is book number one in the Maiden Lane series. And it's narrated on audio by Ashford McNabb. Um, so a historical romance. I'm very much looking forward to this one. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, category number eight, January the 26th is Spouse Day. Spouse Day is the time to enjoy and appreciate your better half. Um, read a book with a married couple in it or read a book that's part of a series or read a book with two people on the cover. 
So this one fits both part of a series and with two people on the cover, and it is Yours to Keep by Shannon Stacy. Another one on audio. Book number three in the Kowalski Family series. Very excited about this one. Narrated on audio by Lauren Fontgang. So yeah, she has narrated the first two, and she's really, really enjoyable as a narrator. Category number nine. January 29th is National Kazoo Day. <laughs> Now I'm saying this, I haven't finished my Christmas shopping yet. Again, I'm filming this before Christmas. Um, I, you know, I kind of want to go buy my nephew a little kazoo now, but I think my brother would probably kill me <laughs> if I did that. We don't want the toys that make the noise. Um, National Kazoo Day. People young and old love kazoos. Kazoo Day celebrates the joy of this musical instrument. And uh, your prompts are read a book with a musical character in it or read a book with a young character or an older character or read a book that brings you joy. So again, I went to that list of prompts that she had, or not prompts, but list of suggestions, and I clicked on one of the lists, and it was like musicians and romance novels. I have read a lot of rock star romance, you guys. Like, all these books I was coming to marked as read, and I'm like, wow, this is pretty good. But I came across this one. It was on my want to read list on Goodreads, and it is Back to You by Lauren Dane. Um, this is book number three in the Hurley Boys series. And it is narrated on audio by Kate Turnbell. I'm very excited about this one. I've had this one on my want to read list for quite some time. So I'm excited to finally be getting to it. And category number 10, as always, is Reader's Choice. Read any book of your choosing. I literally went on to my series list that I have going. Not my stacking the series, but my series list of series I'm also reading through above and beyond my stacking the series. And I just did a number, random number generator, and I came up with this one. And it is A Hope Divided by Alyssa Cole. This is the second book in the Loyal League series, narrated on audio by Karen Chilton. This is a series um, about, um, uh, like, slaves who are, I don't want to diminish what the book is actually about, um, but it's like slaves who go, kind of go undercover during the Civil War. The first book was amazing absolutely amazing. I loved it. I read it in 2018. Highly, highly recommend it. Alyssa Cole's an amazing author, and I'm very, very much looking forward to getting to the second book. So my next series of prompts is my TBR from the beginning, as I'm calling it. As I said, I want to work my way through my want to read list on Goodreads. So literally what I'm doing is starting at the very beginning of that list, like I'm going in order of date added to my want to read, and I picked the first two books that came up. And the first one is The Way You Look Tonight by Bella Andre. Um, this is book number two in the Seattle Sullivan series, and it's going to be narrated on audio by Eva uh, Kaminsky. Um, so yeah, I have not read book number one. If you guys didn't know, I am I used to be very structured about I only want to read series in order, but I'm stepping away from that now because I just feel like I'm missing out on, I just want to read all the books. And if it's out of order, typically with stuff like contemporary romance, or series of that nature, they don't necessarily have to be read in order. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. And the other one is Flirting with Disaster by Victoria Dahl. Um, this is book number two in the Jackson Girls' Night Out series. Um, again, on audio, narrated by Celeste Kalua. So this is two books by her that I'm listening to narrated this month. And she's a narrator I wasn't familiar with until I read um, A Cold Creek Christmas Story in December, and she narrated that one. I wasn't 100% pleased with her narration, to be completely honest. Um, she's a slower narrator. Narrator, She takes a lot of breaks in between everything that she says, kind of, <laughs> or between sentences. So um, I do speed my audiobooks up, so it will not be that big a deal for me. Um, my next little section here is my series Rewind. So essentially what this is, is I have two lists. I have a spreadsheet that I use to keep track of all of my books. And I have two spreadsheets. One is for ongoing series, which is series that I started at book one, and I'm working my way through in numerical order. The other one is my series catch-up list, and it is books that I maybe started at book five, and now I want to jump back and read up to that point. So I did num random number generators for both of these, and the first one is going to be uh, for my ongoing series, the books I started at number one. Ironclad cover by Dana Martin. Um, this is book number two in the Mission Redemption series. It's going to be narrated on audio by Holly Fielding. This is part of the Audible Romance Package. Um, it is a Harlequin Intrigue novel. I read the first book in this series last year in paperback, um, so I'm very excited about getting to this one. It is about a group of women who are like going undercover for like some sting operation. It was The first book was really good. 
Um, and for my catch-up to go back to books that, you know, I started later in the series will be A Maverick to Remarry by Christine Rimmer. Uh, this one I'll be reading on ebook. And it is book number one in the Montana Mavericks, The Lonely Hearts Ranch series. I read the fifth book or the sixth book in December or November. I can't remember. The one about the girl, oh my gosh, A Christmas, A Maverick's Christmas to Remember, I think it was called. And it was about the girl who had amnesia and she thought that the first guy that she saw after she fell was her fiance and he went through and like he played along. Such a cute little series and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. So, the next little bit, I'm actually going to be pausing this, um, and I'm going to be looking for the books because I do not have them written down because I don't know what they are yet. So, what this is, is the Audible Romance Package Category Challenge. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Essentially, I, I, I thought to myself, or I'm like, maybe I should just like short form it to the ARPCC. <laughs> But I don't know if that's already an acronym for something. Um, so essentially what this is, um, if you did not see my video last Friday, is I really wanted to do a challenge um, to read more from the... I read a lot from the Audible Romance Package. I 100% get my money's worth from the Audible Romance Package. Um, of all the books I mentioned on audio that I'm reading this month so far, at least half of them come from the Romance Package. But I wanted to delve into some different categories and like kind of branch out a little bit. So there are 40 categories listed um, on the Audible Romance Package, and I picked 24 of them. So what I'm going to do, sorry, the cat's crying. So what I'm going to do is I've got them all written down on here on little slips of paper, and I'm going to be pulling two out, and then I'm going to stop the video. Bless you, Gorn. He sneezed. And then I am going to go online, and I'm going to find the two books I'm going to read, and then come back and tell you guys what they are. So let's open. They're in my David's Tea Jar. Yes, I know it's got ghosts on it and it's very Halloween-y, but it's so cute. When else am I going to use this jar? I suppose I could actually put tea in it, but uh, I don't want to put a label on the outside of it because it's just so gosh darn cute. So let's pull two out here. So as I was saying to you guys, though, um, in my last video, if you go on my Goodreads group below, I will leave a link to it in the description box below. I do actually have a, um, a thread set up for this. So I've heard several of you want to join in with me on this. So... Either, you know, you can either see what category I have and pick a book from that category as well, or you can read the same book as me. So entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. But so here's our first one. And then let me pull out the second one here. And then our second one. So let's open these up and see what we got. Oh, I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this all day long. Oh, let's open the first one first. So the first category that we have is one of my favorites contemporary yay so I will be going on to the contemporary list and seeing it I'm sure there's a ton of stuff on there I'm sure I'll find something and I'll literally be picking this by something that looks good and the second one is oh interesting political so a political one so yes so I will be back in just a few seconds guys okay guys so that took a little bit longer than I anticipated <laughs> the contemporary category had 35 pages of stuff so again if you do not want to read the ones that I picked you don't have to, um, you know, perhaps just read something within the same category, which would be a lot of fun because in that, you know, we kind of get different, um, book recommendations essentially. But I went through and, um, 35 pages, I kind of jumped around and looked at different things and I came across this book and it sounded really cute and it's called You'll Think of Me by Robin Lee Hatcher. This is narrated on audio by Wendy Lanzi. Yes, I made sure it was Wendy and not Wendy. Um... But this one is about a woman who, or a girl, I should say, at the age of 17 gets married and moves to Reno and um, to escape her, her upbringing, I guess she has issues with her parents and things like that. And then she has her daughter uh, while they're married and then her husband abandons her. So, you know, she decides to stay in Reno and kind of raise her daughter. And then she finds out that this husband um, died and left the house that he had back in their hometown to the daughter so then she decides to go home and you know kind of you know give her daughter a bit of a better life essentially and this one is labeled as a sweet romance there's some um, in a lot of the books on the audible romance package if you didn't know not all of them have this but a good chunk of them do that towards the bottom they will give you like a sliding bar of how hot they are like in terms of adult content and this one is labeled as a sweet romance so I thought it looked really cute so this is the one I'm definitely picking for contemporary the one I'm picking for political was um, actually, surprisingly, there was only five pages. 
Um, but I found this one a little bit harder because I was like kind of looking through and seeing. And I'm like, I'm going to read a book that I want to read because, again, you know, if you guys want to read something different within the political category, please do. I saw books by B.J. Daniels, Joan Johnson. Um, you know, there's a lot of variety in there, which is great. But the book I'm picking is A Lot Like Love by Julie James. This is the second book in the FBI U.S. Attorney series. And I started this series last year, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, narrated on audio by Karen White. Um, so I'm very excited about reading this one. Um, these are spicy. Very, very high in the adult content, you know, spectrum of things. So if you want to read this book as well, just keep that in mind. I like to let you guys know that. But yeah, so those are the two books for the Kindle Unlimited, like, challenge that I'm doing. So on the Goodreads group, like I said, I will have, um, a link, uh, like a thread for this and for the Kindle Unlimited challenge, which is, I'm going to talk about in just a second. Um, I was going to open up each challenge, like, month by month, but I thought, you know what, let's just start with one thread. And if it becomes a little too much, then maybe later on in the future, as the year goes on, I'll think about doing, like, separate ones depending on the months. If there's a lot of like chatter back and forth and stuff like that. So the other challenge is of course the Kindle Unlimited challenge which is I just randomly picked two Kindle Unlimited books and um, I'm gonna read them in January. So again if you guys want to read these with me please do. Um, so the first one is both of them are contemporary romance novels. The first one is Breathless by Leah, uh, Leah Laval. Um, I cannot talk on the adult content in these or anything at all like that because I don't know. I'm familiar with the second author but not this first author and this is the first book in the yoga in the city series so it sounds like it revolves around a yoga studio um like a contemporary series that all these people go to the same yoga studio and you know romance ensues essentially so sounds really really fun i thought it would be cute and the second one is twisted up by erin nichols erin nichols i'm a bit more familiar with i know that her stuff can get spicy so do keep that in mind and it is the first book in the Taking Chances series. So this one sounds really cute too. Again, both are available on Kindle Unlimited. But I thought about it today. Now, I don't know. My friends in the U.S. or my friends in the U.K. or I think somebody mentioned today that the U.K. does not have Kindle Unlimited, which is disappointing. But I don't know if the same books that I have on Kindle Unlimited are the same that you guys might have. So do keep that in mind too when you're, when you're looking at this. So those are those ones. We're getting close to the end, you guys. The next group of challenge or challenges here is the Romance Opoly that I have decided to participate in. I talked about this in my video last Friday. Um, this is being hosted by um, Jessica over at Peace Love Books and the girls from the Under the Covers book blog. And essentially, as it sounds, it is a Monopoly board. And, you know, the goal is over the course of a year is to go around the board. So I did some thinking on this one yesterday and I decided that what I needed to do was I think it's three books a month and then in December I can read two books. So that'll take me up to the amount of books that I need to read. There are four of the squares on here which are like coffee shop challenges and essentially those are Instagram challenges where you don't actually need to physically read a book for them. So that's pretty cool. So what I did this morning, um, and this isn't going to be my final like sheet. As you can see I've got little um, marks here where I've marked off the ones that I've, I've already that I'm going to be doing. And I'll be reading these in order, like when I get to these books, I'll be reading them in order of going through the squares on the on the card, or on the bingo board, or bingo board, on the uh, Monopoly board. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I had a lot of fun picking these this morning, because a couple of these I really had to step out of my comfort zone for, um, with the romance novels that I do typically tend to pick up and read. So eventually I'd like to have a prettier card, I might just download, I like to do things digitally, um, so I might just do a screenshot of the card and then, like I did for the book bingo, put my own like little stickers in it or maybe write on it what book I read for that. There's also a spreadsheet that they have. I will leave a link to the um, to the website in the description box below so you guys can go and check it out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, there's different cat like there's different um, levels to the challenge. You don't have to do every square. You know, you can only do you can just do some of them and like challenge yourself to 11 books for the year or something. So yeah, it just looks like a lot of fun. But anyway, so I, I actually used virtual dice online, like a randomizer thing with virtual dice. And I um, flipped the dice. And the first one that I came to here was Growing Pain's Place, which is to read, what is it? A young adult fantasy or contemporary novel. So I started thinking about, because you guys know I'm not a big YA reader, um, but there is some of it that I really do enjoy. And one of the books that I read last year that I really loved was um, from 
was it um, from Dimple to Rishi or something like that? And I know she has a second book that came out last year. And that uh, second book is From Twinkle with Love by uh, Sinal, um, San Sandali Menon. I hope I'm saying that right. I know I'm probably not and I do apologize. And this is narrated on audio by Sonali uh, Nikini and uh, Vicus Adam. Uh, they are the same two narrators, I believe, from the um, When Dimple Met Rishi. That was the first book. And, yeah, this is a um, an Indian-American um, contemporary YA, and I really like the first one. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, I think the cover and the title is just adorable. So, yeah, so this one will be a lot of fun. And, like I said, obviously I'll be listening to this one on audio. I did go ahead and buy it um, using one of my credits because I had a couple credits that uh, were sitting there unused. Um, the next, uh, when I rolled the dice, I got to this square, which is bus. So I guess these are like the transportation squares on a Monopoly board. And the one for this one was to read a book that included the characters traveling. So the great thing on the Romanceopoly website is that they actually have an area where you can click on and they give you suggestions. And this book was one of the suggestions and it sounded great. It's called Rhythm, Chord, and uh, McKaylin, I think is uh, the name. And it's by Mariana Zapata. Um, I've heard of this author before on a lot of other romance booktubers talk about her. And people really seem to enjoy her books. So I thought I will give this one a chance. This is available on the Audible Romance Package, narrated on audio by Carly Robbins. And it's about a girl whose brother is a rock star and she like travels with him. It's a new adult. It's labeled as a new adult. And she travels with him um, on tour and I guess as a fling with somebody in the band. I don't know. Sounded really interesting and I thought, okay, well, it fits the category. And the third, this is again where I had to step out of my comfort zone, is um, the next one that I got is called, where am I here? Uh, Magic Row. And it is a paranormal, which you guys know I'm not typically a paranormal reader. And this one is called Playing With Fire by Gina Showalter. So this is an author I'm familiar with. I read her contemporary novels. I have not delved into her um, her paranormal yet. And this one is the first book in the Belle Jameson series. Now, it also has a different series name on Goodreads, so I'm not exactly sure, but Audible lists it as um, the, the Belle Jameson. This is going to be narrated on audio by Jessica Almstay, I think it is. And this is about a woman who's a barista. And then one day, um, she ends up somehow getting magic powers, and she can control the elements. This sounds really cute. So the whole magic wrote, the characters have to be able to use magic. So this is obviously the one that I am picking, and I'm very excited about it. So the last four books, really quickly, that I'm going to mention here are my review books. I have four review, four review books from NetGalley that I need to get to. The first one is Fast Friends by Jill Mansell. This is actually a reprint. Um, so I guess that they're trying to hype it up again by putting it out on NetGalley. This originally came out in 1991. It is a long book, guys. I didn't realize until I looked at it on Goodreads. It's 600 pages. So this is going to be a bulk of, that's why I'm reading so many books on audio this month, because I've got this chunker to read as an ebook. The next one I'm super excited about, I talked about this one in my anticipated reads, um, is the, um, in my, oh, um, spoiler alert for my next Harlequin, or my next Read Bliss video. I did talk about this one in anticipated reads. And that is The Best of Us by Robin Carr. Um, this I'm going to be, uh, yeah, of course, it's going to be an ebook. These are all ebooks. Book four in the Sullivan's Crossing series. Super excited. I got a proof for this one on NetGalley. Cannot wait to read it. The next one is Murder Likes It Hot by Tracy Weber. This is book number six in the Downward Dog mystery series. This is a cozy mystery series set in a yoga studio. And the very last one is The Magnolia Inn by Carolyn Brown. You guys know I'm a big fan of Carolyn Brown. And this one is um, just a contemporary novel. But I noticed when I was looking at it on Amazon, this is actually going to be available when it's released in January on Kindle Unlimited. So if you guys who have it are interested in reading it, you can check it out there. So that's it, guys. 20, I think it's 25 books in total. Um, yeah, so I have a busy, busy reading month. Most of them are on audio. Um, so you guys know I can get through those really quickly. Um, and yeah, I am super excited about all of these. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have read any of these books, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you are joining me in reading, um, you know, anything from the romance package or from Kindle Unlimited, please let me know that as well. And please post in the Goodreads group. I try and go on there and check every day for new comments. And, you know, I like to reply to everybody. I'm really trying to get better at that. 
Um, and yeah, anyway, that's it. Until my next video, guys, take care and happy reading. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Bye.